Okay, and here we are at Jackson Fine Art with uh, Mona Kuhn. Uh, your new book is called Native, I believe. And uh, can you tell me a little about the show here tonight? Yes. So the show, the, all the images here were images that I took in Brazil in the last year, in 2008. I went to Brazil three times. Each time I stayed there about two months and I had to go back. It's a place where I grew up. Um, I lived, I was born and raised in Brazil and I lived there for 20 years. And um, I've been in the U.S. for almost 20 years. So it was interesting for me to go back and reinterpret with a more mature point of view, a more grown up person. A lot of your work is about the sort of landscape of the human body. But a lot of this work then in, in the book turns out to be sort of, you know, a landscape, literal landscape, right. and then uh, human body. Why, why did you decide to do it like, like that? Well, I like to think of it as like the human part and the human nature part. Um, and this work, the work that I'd done before was in a naturist community in France. This work was not in a naturist community. This work was mostly downtown Sao Paulo, which is a 19 million inhabitant uh, city. And the, the portraits and the nudes. And the landscape was all done outside of uh, Sao Paulo, obviously on a rainforest area, uh, coastal and inland. Um, it was a way, it gave me a chance, this body of work gave me a chance of opening up and also exploring landscape, which I hadn't done, haven't done before. But being in Brazil is impossible not to do the landscape. It's just something that attracted me and I had to do it. A lot of the uh, photographic nudes that you've seen in pho photography history uh, are sort of taken out of context. It, it's a sort of light and flesh and body and things like that. But your nudes are in context. Uh, for instance, a, a man looking over a woman in bed, a woman, as we see here, sitting on a chair. Right. Why? How do you choose to portray them sort of within their environment or within their context? Well, when you're doing portraits in photography, there is something that I always try to avoid, which is to do a portrait of someone that you consider to be the other, uh, where you put the person just simply on a back background or where you just say, okay, this is how this person is interesting because of what they look like or they're exotic or different than us. And I really had to think about going to Brazil not to do the, not to do things that are misinterpreted and my my biggest concern was also to photograph them as close to me as close friends and just the contemporary people of nowadays living in brazil that if i did live there would be my friends do you think that people outside of brazil will understand the the context then of of how you're presenting these people it, well they don't have to. Yeah. Um, I think that it gives them a story, a narration of my experience in Brazil. I think that it will expose them to maybe a different side of Brazil. Uh, I think it's not, it's not the carnival images or beach images. It's like I'm hoping to bring in a new chapter to, to the idea of Brazil, a more personal, more moody idea of it. Um, Yes, I can only hope that they understand, or at least that they are a little bit more exposed to it. Also, I understand a jungle is sort of a wild growth, nature growing crazy. Right. And you yourself are about to produce a piece of life. Right. Uh, does that influence your, your work then? She's pregnant. Well, I... I wasn't pregnant at the time, okay. <laughs> and and the, the the idea of the forest for me at the time was a little bit more uh, deep rooted yeah. in in the feelings of it, the smell and the humidity. Um, it was it was a little bit about of of um, maybe fecundity, but more on the fauna part of it, the growth and the K that the forest has, just this like extremely strong. Uh, nature that that um, that is able to just deal with itself and rebuild itself. Mm -hmm. um, I'm now living in Los Angeles and we have nothing like this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, everything is a little bit more artificial in regards to landscapes, right. or it's just desert. So it was a place that was very sultry, very in a way almost um, with the temperature and with the smells of the place and with the incredible amount of um, 
birds, you cannot even count birds and insects and the, the noise. It's like a symphony once you're inside the rainforest.